These splice videos are intended to show the techniques involved in splicing Samson high-performance ropes. Some repetitive sequences have been edited for time. Watch the video to become familiar with the individual steps of the splice. When performing the splice, follow Samson's written instructions for the step-by-step -step procedure. Written instructions at samsonrope.com. This splice procedure has been developed and tested for use with Samson Class II products only. Class II ropes are produced with high modulus fibers, HMPE, Aramid, LCP, or PBO. These fibers are often referred to by their trade names, Dyneema, Technora, Vectran, and Xylon. Instructions for this splice can be downloaded as an Acrobat PDF file from SampsonRope.com and are also available in print form in the Samson Splicing Manual. The end for end splice is used to join the ends of a section of rope to form an endless loop or a grommet, or when removing a damaged section from a rope to join two remaining sections into a single piece. We'll be using a tubular fid for this splice and for measuring the marks. A fid length is equal to the diameter of the rope multiplied by 21. To start, lay out the ropes as shown and tape the ends. Measure one tubular fit length from the taped end of each line and make the mark. This is mark one. Your mark should continue all the way around the rope. From mark one, measure two tubular fit lengths and make mark two on both lines. From mark 2, measure 4 tubular fit lengths and make mark 3 on both lines. Now you will taper the tails. From mark 1, in the direction of the taped end of the line, mark every second right and left strand for 3 strands. Note that some rope diameters may have pairs of strands in the right and left direction. In this case, treat the pairs as a single strand, marking and cutting both in each direction. Pull each marked strand out of the braid. Removing the tape will make this easier. Retape the tapered tail lightly to keep it from unbraiding. Repeat this step for the other end of the rope. Cut off each strand at the mark close to the body of the rope. Next, reposition the ropes for splicing according to this diagram. Securely attach a fid to each of the tapered tails. Now, you will bury rope A into rope B. Insert the fid into rope B at mark 2. Work it through and bring it out at or a little past mark 3. Carefully smooth rope B toward rope A in order to bury rope A up to its mark 2. Be sure to leave the tail sticking out. Now, you will bury rope B into rope A. Insert the fid into rope A at mark 2, approximately the diameter of the line away from the insertion point of rope A into rope B. Work it through and bring the fid and tail out at or a little past mark 3 of rope A. Carefully smooth rope A toward rope B in order to bury rope B up to its own mark 2 at the crossover point. 
Pull both tails tightly to tighten your crossover point. Now you'll perform a secondary taper on both of the tails. Remove the fid and the tape and mark three consecutive strands. Pull out and cut off all three. Repeat this on the other tapered tail. Next, starting at the crossover point, smooth the braid in both directions, stroking firmly. The tails will disappear into the rope and a smooth, gradual taper should result. Lock stitching should be done on both sides of the crossover to prevent the splice from pulling out. Video instructions on lock stitching and end for end splice are available at SampsonRope.com. Once lock stitched, the splice is complete and ready for service. Thanks for watching.